Hiya, I'm Jo, mum of two. I have two boys, Harrison, who's three and a half, and Parker, who is very nearly six months. And I'm here today to talk about how combi feeding has worked for me. Both of my boys have been combi fed. Parker is currently still mainly breastfed, but he will normally have one or two bottles in the evening or at night, um, just mainly to give me a bit of a break and try and fill him up a bit in the night. So ideally you want to wait until your baby is between six to eight weeks old before you start introducing formula so that your breast milk has a chance to fully establish the supply that you need. Um, but from then, combination feeding can be so useful, especially if you're struggling to exclusively breastfeed for whatever reason. It also offers dads or other family members a chance to bond with the baby, which they don't get if it's mum always feeding. And it gives mum a break. Exclusively breastfeeding is hard work and especially with Parker he had colic for the first few months so he was feeding or crying a lot. Um, so my husband being able to give him a bottle or two was such a big break. We have used these MAM self-sterilising anti-colic bottles from the beginning and they are great as they are designed to help reduce the signs of colic. The base of them has these little vents in it meaning that they regulate the air inside the bottle so that the baby's not swallowing lots of air and is meant to reduce colic up to 80%. If you're thinking about combination feeding, you might be worried that your baby won't take a bottle, but some simple things you can do to help are first, getting someone else to give them a bottle for a while while they get used to it so that they don't smell your breast milk and you and expect breastfeeding. Similarly, if you feed them in a different position than you'll normally breastfeed them so if you normally do the traditional like cradle breastfeed hold try feeding them sitting on your lap looking outwards so that, again they're not expecting that breastfeed you can also try giving them milk at different temperatures and finding the right bottle and teat that works for your baby bottles like this from ma'am are designed to help ease the switch between breast and bottle as they use a skin soft material meaning that babies that are used to a nipple are really likely to accept these Parker accepted these no problem and has always guzzled either expressed or formula milk from these bottles. Combination feeding can be really useful if you are returning to work but don't want to give up breastfeeding fully or at first if you're not confident feeding out in public you could take expressed or formula milk out with you. To take out formula milk these tubs from MAM are so great. They've got three sections meaning you can take out three pre-measured amounts of formula ready for bottles on the go. I also use these at night, so this has got six scoops ready to go for tonight, meaning I don't have to try and keep count when I'm half asleep. I hope this has been helpful if you're thinking of combination feeding. Just make sure you do whatever works best for you and your little one. Thanks for watching.